One thing for sure, two things for certain, man. What's up guys, it is Wolf Bites, and today I'll be talking about why I sold my uh, Xbox One. Um, now this video is not to incite any kind of fanboy war or um, you know start any kind of conflict in the comment section or between you guys. I'm just uh, telling you my experiences with the Xbox One. Uh, I bought it, I had it for a while, during. Uh, I bought it at launch actually. I had it for a couple of months and I uh, eventually sold it. And uh, I'm going to talk about why. So. Um, at launch, the Xbox One wasn't perfect, along with the PS4. The PS4 wasn't per uh, perfect either. Um, but I found my experience in the Xbox One, um, I don't know. It was it was fun. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, the Xbox One isn't a bad console. It just, it just didn't cater to me and my needs. I mean, I, uh, I enjoy really immersive single-player experiences. And um, the PlayStation side of things usually always delivers on that. I, uh, I play mostly all my adventure games on the PS3 and the PS4, um, and I've had a lot of exper good experiences on the PS3 and the PS4. Not to say that I haven't had experiences on the Xbox 360, um, but uh, I've had more on the PlayStation side of things. Uh, so I really going into this, I knew I probably was going to end up playing my Xbox One as much as my PS4, but I still got it for the experience and uh, you know having a launch. I, ne I never really had that launch day experience. I, I missed out on the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Um, but this was my experience, and I wanted to get both and experience both, and I did, and I ended up liking the PS4 a lot better. Now, um, as far as games, I mean, I played Rise, uh, and it was, eh, it was alright. I mean, it was, it was a really, it's a pretty game to look at. Um, as far as, as far as gameplay mechanics, it just didn't, it didn't deliver for me. Uh, and it's gonna come out on PC later on this year anyway, so I might just pick it up for that. But, um, Rise is okay, Forza... Lots of microtransactions. Also, another pretty game. Probably one of the best-looking games on the Xbox One. Um, when I had it a while ago, I don't know if this, it's changed since then. There's not a lot has come out since then. But um, you know, it was okay. I mean, Forza. I'm not really a big driving, you know, fan anyway. So I got us to experience that. And then uh, the game I really bought the Xbox One for was Dead Rising Three, and uh, it was fun. I had a lot of fun playing that game. But um, it's not really. You know what I thought about it? It's not really a a, 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 a game that's worth picking up a five hundred dollar console for. Um, so yeah, th those are my beginning experiences. I mean, I played the the uh, the, the uh, digital games. You know, Killer Instinct, uh, the uh, what was it, Panzer Dragoon, uh, some Peggle, which I'm uh, Peggle's <laughs> Peggle's Peggle. But um, you know, I played them, and um, ultimately I, I ended up playing a lot of multi platform games on my PlayStation Four. Um, and I ended up liking them and playing them more in that system. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Is my experiences with the the consoles between the two. I ended up playing my PlayStation Four more. Um, and with that, you know, being a dad, being a guy who works full time, uh, holding down a house, you know, mortgage, and be, being a this is an adult. You know, I don't have a lot of time to play video games. Not as much as I did when I was a single guy. I mean, when I was single, I could like you know order. It'd be a weekend. I could order a pizza, get a you know a case of beer, and sit there and play Call of Duty or you know play just a bunch of video games for hours on end, and just you know walk out of my room on like, Monday morning and just go back to work. Um, but yeah, I can't do that anymore. I can't just sit around and play video games as much as I can. And really, the Xbox One was just sitting there gathering dust under my TV, and I uh, I didn't have any use for it. So I took it, I sold it, and I just put it towards other stuff that's coming out later this year, like Destiny. Um, some peripherals like some of the cool controllers coming out for the PlayStation 4, the white one, the blue one, and the multicam one. Um, and yeah, just I, that's what happened with my, my, my Xbox One. That's my experience. Um, but like I said before, man, the Xbox One isn't a bad console. They're actually offering something to um, their their you know their customers. You know, they have uh, monthly updates to actually update the system and add things to the system uh, that. That are you know that are good and PlayStation 4 is not really doing that. They have like really minor little updates that really don't you don't see anything uh, impactful. So I think that's pretty awesome. The Xbox side does that. Um, there are also some good games coming out later this year. You have Sunset Overdrive, the Master Chief Collection, uh, Forza um, Horizons 2. Some good stuff coming out and next year too. So I mean maybe I pick up another Xbox One later on down the line. I saw some bundles uh, yesterday. The uh, Sunset Overdrive White. Xbox One bundle looks, which looks really fucking sweet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might, maybe I, uh, I might change my mind and get another one later this year because that white Xbox One looks really awesome. Um, and the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, Xbox One with the one terabyte hard drive 
and the skin and the controller and it comes with the digital version of the game that's pretty cool it's 500 bucks the price seems a little you know eh, i don't know i'm not really i think 500 bucks is a little too much but um hey it is what it is but yeah uh pretty much why i saw it at my xbox morning in summary guys you know i wasn't really uh i was playing my ps4 more i don't have a lot of time to play a lot of video games anymore and um i am more likely to pay play the uh the PS4 exclusives and uh, all my multiplats on my PlayStation 4 anyway. So I ended up selling it and um, I don't really regret it now. Uh, maybe I'll regret it later on this year if something really cool comes out in next year and maybe I'll pick up another one. Who knows if the price drops or if uh, there's some special bundles or discounts or something. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's my experiences. Those are my video. This is my video and um, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.